In today's video, I'm going to show all you singers out there how you could use Gig Performer to create your very own fully customizable vocal effects chain. Hi, I'm Marty Wade. I'm a singer, songwriter, keyboardist, guitarist, music producer. You might have seen some of my stuff over on Mark's channel. And I'm really excited to show you how super versatile Gig Performer can be at handling live vocals. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so I've made up a very simple rack space. I don't think you want anything too complicated, especially when it comes to front panel controls when you're in the middle of a performance. Your mind should be on performance and not knob twiddling, unless that's your thing. So if you see on screen here, this is a very simple front panel, very self-explanatory, an EQ section, a reverb section, a delay section, and an overall volume section. If I take you to the wiring section, you can see all the VSTs that I'm using in this particular chain. For the sake of this demo, I've used some of the kilohertz stuff because it's very simple to use, sounds good, and it's free, which is always a bonus. And you'll see down here, there's a graphic EQ, which is also free and available for download. And it means you can um, go and get this stuff and give it a try for yourself without having to fork out any cash, which is always good. So signal path wise, there's a gain and balance to control your overall volume. Then that runs into a graphic EQ. So if you have any rogue frequencies that are giving you hassle at a venue, you can dial these out. Then into a compressor, then into some reverb, some delay, an EQ, and then finally a limiter. Very simple setup. For my performances personally, all I need is a nice tone and a little bit of crisp reverb and the occasional bit of delay here and there. Nothing too fancy, but you could put auto-tune in here if you want to do the whole stuff. Do you believe in love after love? Um, uh, some sync delay. Um, some distortion, you can put whatever you like in here. Um, and you can set it up per song. It's like so super versatile. So back to the front panel and all of these controls here are mapped to my MIDI mix here. Um, this channel here, you can see is controlling the EQ, mid, low, etc. In the reverb section, the mute button is turning it on and off. The wet and dry is controlled by this slider and the size is controlled by this knob. So if I turn everything right down and turn it on and start talking, you'll hear some reverb. And you can alter this on the fly and make it super large. We don't need any of that kind of stuff going on. So, and then on the delay, if I put on the delay, you can start hearing some delay. And you can alter the wet dry. Hello, 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 hello. Turn it right down, etc. And this slider here is controlling volume. So as I talk, hopefully during the recording, the volume should be going a lot softer. And as I turn this back up, you'll hear it come back up. And I'll put it back to zero. So yeah, super simple, but as complicated as you want to make it. The amount of plugins that are out there now is just mind boggling. And you can do anything now. And the most impressive thing I've found about using this live on stage for the last month, zero latency. No matter what I've chucked at it. I've tried auto-tune, I've tried distortion, chorus, flanger, all types of wacky stuff in the chain to try and make it hiccup. Never once. So I hope that gives you some ideas. If you want to try any of this stuff out, all the links are down in the description. See you next time. You're as smooth as whiskey. Tennessee whiskey Tennessee whiskey, Tennessee whiskey.